Like any money-making venture, starting a poultry farming requires a well-detailed business plan, especially if it is a commercial one. Subsistent farmers running a small farm or at home raising a few birds less than 20 may do so without giving much thought to things like economics of production, risk assessment, return on investment, and profitability. However, if you are entering it to make money, you may want to stick around for this discussion. My guest, Nabil Yakubo, is a seasoned veterinarian with a diverse background encompassing seven years of immersive experience in the livestock sector. His expertise adds a wealth of knowledge to uh, Nigeria, reflecting his extensive hands-on involvement in various aspects of veterinary practice. Nabil's journey involves skillfully managing complex clinical cases and offering crucial assistance to community animal health workers across the Northeast region. His proficiency extends to both livestock and companion animals, earning recognition for his dedicated provision of standardized health advisory services to a wide spectrum of clients. He joins me now as we look at the poetry business in Nigeria, talking about profitability. Many thanks for joining me, Nabil. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, Nabil, I'm just going to just dive into the main question, really. Profitability, poultry farming. How profitable is poultry farming in Nigeria, specifically as we speak, knowing the issue of dollar, food costs, and uh, every other so, um, economic factors that have been plaguing the country? Is it still profitable? Yes, definitely. Just as with any business, um, like, uh, poultry production, to be specific, is still very profitable. Because the truth still remains, out of all animal protein, the poultry product still happens to be the cheapest. Talking about the um, the chicken and the um, eggs, because every meal, an average Nigerian wouldn't want to eat without having a poultry, an animal protein in it. So, looking at our increasing population, aside side by placing it side aside with the cheap the cheapest available animal protein uh, we have in Nigeria is very profitable as I speak to you. Yeah, so of course increasing um, in their increase is still you know, what we are expecting and what we are experiencing as well as several other um, commodities in the country. But that doesn't stop this, that doesn't stop, does not stop the profitability. Yeah. All right, fine. Okay, I really still need to know if um it's really very profitable, especially if one is doing it on a very large scale, because I know some people just do at the back of the house, they just have like a small space or just an area in their house where they have some cages and then they do like 20 to 50. But if you are doing uh, on a large scale, uh, is it something that um, you would encourage people to do, knowing the fact that over time people have complained about prices of millets and maize and the um, feeds that, that are generally used uh, for uh, you know for poultry production very well that's a nice question and in fact the secret of um, poultry production is the scale of operation determines your profitability mm. the higher the number you've been investing in in fact the sooner you bask into profitability so um, those who do the subsistence style of 20 30 50 would majorly do within selling to neighbors at little markup profit. But larger scale professionals who would want to invest in thousands and thousands of beds, in fact, they, they, those who have started it hardly leave. So the experience of those who have left is just majorly as a result of um, the increased cost. For example, as at uh, 2017, a bag of poultry feed was around 6,000 to 5,000. Unfortunately, at this moment, as the last time I checked, the current cost of that same feed after five to six years is a whooping 16,000 naira. Mm. So looking at a large scale farmer who had invested, for example, 5 million in 2017, if you'd want to maintain that pedestal, that quantity of beds you are keeping, you should be raising, you should be having nothing less than 15 million. So in fact, so that's just a major discouraging factor in the large scale ability. But those who venture into it and have the capital to stay there are really, really making the huge profit they, they, they expect. Because the market is there, the population keeps increasing. In yeah. fact, the demand has even warranted people from, for example, Kaduna, getting to buy eggs from as far as Zamfara, from as far as Lagos. Even importation of this poultry product is still ongoing, even outside the borders of the country. So it's yeah. a very, very uh, uh, profitable venture, especially in the last year. 
All right, Nabil, I'm interested right now in getting into um, poetry. People talk about having uh, multiple streams of income now, but if I need to be directed or be uh, guided, so to speak, I'm sure other Nigerians are also interested in uh, making more money for, for themselves. What is that thing? What, is, what are the things I should, the key things I should look at if I really want to start a poetry farm in the country right now in this economy? <coughs> Beautiful, yeah. So, um, poultry production is um, the first question you would ask yourself, especially if you'll be placing that aside puzzle, is do you have the, the capital required to raise from start to finish? The good thing about poultry production is the short lifespan. In six weeks, you are done what you've invested. So, but it's not a business you will be hoping. You, will, you say you will buy the bet, and I hope in two weeks I will have an expectant money to yeah. feed. But best don't understand that. All right, it's the Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. We're looking at poetry uh, farming in the country. Poetry is actually very broad based. Uh, I think we have um, Nabil back. Nabil, can you hear me? I lost you at some okay. point. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, please. sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So as I say, I was saying. It's very important. You have the entire fund you'll be needing to raise from start to finish. You don't expect money from somewhere else. When you already started, but best don't understand that uh, I will be pausing, not feeding you for two days. It will affect their, uh, their their progress. Secondly, there are current advancements in um, breeds of birds, so breed selection is really important. For example, you might have different variants of hatcheries who sell birds at cheap or expensive yeah. breed. What you should focus more on is what is the species of the breed of birds these hatcheries are selling. Third point is the management practice. Mm. Management practice is just the, um, the entirety of uh, poultry production. Mm. Once one maintains hygiene, litter management, quality mm. feed, quality water, the, it, it, it's just the beginning of the progress. Another point we, 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 that's important we mention also is knowledge, because it's important before you venture into any field, yeah. it's best you have Exactly. For example, you must have a veterinarian who mm. you would at least have to come and inspect your facility if it is good enough for a certain amount of beds you'll be keeping. You'll also have, need to have a vet who would advise you on the quality feed or quality uh, beds you would need to get and several other um, um, advices. And also another important information you need to know is while you've started these beds, it's important you, um, you understand your marketing should solve your marketing even before you commence rearing these beds because marketability determines your profitability. Okay. So um, it's important to reach out to quality um, uh, premium markets yeah. who would command better prices than a middleman who would pack these beds and sell at, uh, at losses for you. All so right. these are many more I think you should understand before going into okay. it. Okay, I'm sure those are the basic, there are even more things that one should consider. But let's just uh, move up quickly so we can actually just, uh, you know, gather much uh, momentum. Still talking about poetry, you talked about getting knowledge, you talked about adequate research and of course uh, other aspects that you mentioned. But poetry in itself is um, broad. You know, some people would say they want to do just egg production. Some say they just want to sell broilers and uh, they just want to do day old chicks and uh, why some just want to do some other aspect in the value chain. So, but which of these value chain or this aspect of poetry farming is the most profitable because I'm really interested. You know, in making so much money. <laughs> yes, so, so, so. As yeah. an experienced veterinarian, yeah. the truth is, depending how, on, on who seeks to get this advice, if you're a big guy who, uh, for example, my, uh, for example, you, if, if, I'll be, if, I'll be, if I'll be a vet, I would advise you to go into layer production. Okay. Layer production also is, is in two phases. You could decide to do points of lay, that is, raising from pullets to 16 weeks, where you sell to farmers who want to just buy and start laying eggs in, in less than a month. You could also then do from start to finish, that's raising at point at uh, that sales of eggs. The good thing about the, uh, the, the egg production value chain, nothing is wasted. For example, a bag of manure for a poultry, for example, those who raise in large, large scale, Bag of poultry manure that's the dumps is at seven thousand naira currently. 
the uh, the eggs is, is is going to be sold. Mm. Currently commanding at three thousand two hundred naira per crate, what we used to get at seven hundred eight hundred some five six years ago. The beds, even after the two years of production, would be sold as old or spent layers at a very high rate. The bags of feed you 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 you, 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 you the, the bags in which you get your feed from are still going to be resold to to some people. So. The entire value chain in the mm -hmm. egg industry is so marvelous. All the right. production, the products, the, the egg product itself, well, uh, I mean, I'm sure it's hard you hear any issue of blood anymore because mm. the demand is so on the increase and uh, uh, it, 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 it's very much profitable. So right. but another point is, the okay. Okay, okay. Just quickly, just wrap up your thoughts so I could just... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. The, the, the broiler production also is profitable because oh. there are new intervention, new innovations now, where in just five weeks or six weeks, mm. you could sell your beds at even 40% right. extra profit on your capital in less than seven, in less than two months. That's very mar marvelous. So the good thing about that is mm. it's short term, but in the long term and increase sustained profit, profit okay. you should go into layers. All right. Yeah. And Nabil, you are a professional in this aspect. Uh, you're into it. Uh, you uh, you're also involved in livestock, but uh, poultry is some uh, some other thing that you do. No, I know you are very successful in it. Can you share your success story, uh, what you've done differently in poultry market? Because most people are always complaining about um, feeds and everything. How have you been able to stay afloat? What are you doing differently? And just what would you advise in terms of um, reducing, reducing costs and all of that? Just share with us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, with regards to um, cost reduction, it's so unfortunate that uh, feeds have gone this high. So um, one of the best approach to um, pushing in this effect is, first things first, I look for the best breed of birds who ha that has very high feed conversion efficiency. Feed conversion efficiency here means with little amount of feed consumed, it has a total of 70% conversion into meat. So that means you have less feed to, 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 to be fed and to get that same desired result. Mm. Secondly, there are multivitamins or uh, probiotics or uh, uh, the, the amino acid you would give beds that also would also improve in that meat, uh, what do you call it, as mobility or increase, for, for instance. Thirdly, the very important phase in every cycle of, of, of beds is the first two weeks, that's the brooding phase. Once you brood your beds well, once you ensure the adequate temperature, the adequate feed, the adequate treatment is given, the entire journey of the bed will be very much easy. So when you stick to these three approaches mm -hmm. and some other more due to time, you will enjoy whatsoever cycle you'll be having in poultry production. So it's highly profitable mm. only if you have the knowledge, only if you have the consultant who seeks to advise you on mm. best new impending practices to mm. increase profitability, only if you have also you're in a location where marketing. So because one, one, one good point in it is your market inspires you to increase or to consistent in production. So when you have this increased persistent demands from your 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 client. Mm. It's it's quite more or less a motivation to be in, still in the business. All right. So as we wrap up now, Nabil, let's talk about. Um, I know you've talked about um, feeds, uh, the the price of feed. Um, are there other peculiar challenges, and then what are also the opportunities in poultry production? And if you were to analyze, how would you say is the effect of poultry production in agricultural generally in the country? Very quickly. Okay, thank you. So um, the fact still remains: um, the livestock production in general mm. contributes to a large, a huge percentage in the country's GDP. Taking off or neglecting uh, the uh, the profits or the, the the contribution of the poultry sector to Nigeria in general is is, is doing the country a whole lot of harm. Um, the country and the, the, globally, we are craving for the issue of food security. Food security means having food available, that quality meal available to everyone at every particular time, as, as, as expected. Addressing issue on poultry production 
is a huge result in accessing uh, in accessing food in the country. Secondly, um, the rural livestock herders or rural livestock owners use these in they, they, they hardly have funds in the bank. They hardly uh, uh, save in order from except in form of livestock. That's why sixty to seventy percent of a rural livestock owner would keep would have livestock in his in, in his backyard as a form of savings. So uh, the cry of um, uh, vaccination, the cry of uh, of disease surveillance, mm. disease management, and um, that's the government to be lenient in their policies, understanding the fact, because I'm, I, I'm appreciative of uh, the latest uh, information released by the president on the governors being intentional about livestock and um, the, speaking of the profitability or the potential it has. So um, if the government would understand that, okay, Let's create these guys, these entire farmers, into cohorts. Let's provide intervention. Let's provide them with support. Right. Let's ensure that uh, 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 there is a premium market demand for each of these okay. products. It needs to go a long way in solving our problem as a teacher. All right. Uh, Nabil, I just want to still find out um, as I ramp up in the next uh, one minute or so. Uh, if I were to invest, I'm thinking from my Igbo mentality. You know, I'm a businessman, an Igbo man, calculating, a person, a calculator, and all of that, you know, doing the math and everything. So if I were to invest in poultry, but just how soon can I begin to see a uh, return on investment? Okay, beautiful. So um, as I had mentioned earlier, I'll be talking about the poultry, the broiler, and um, layers. Don't forget... There, is, there are still more to it, but this is what is most commonly practiced. For broilers, you have just six weeks to raise and get your profit. For example, you can invest a million naira, adequate management, and after six weeks, you're getting more than 1.4 million naira with mm. your good practices. That's good. In layer production, which I, which I, which I love more, is, it's a more of a long term. You'll be after you raise your beds for just um, from day to 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 point to, to lay at four months, you have two more years and a half to consistently make money. Okay. Consistently on a daily basis, you're making money from the eggs, you're making money from the uh, from the feces, you're making money from the bag of feed, okay. and you could even de de develop into producing or rebranding your feed because seventy percent of the cost in every poultry production is on the feed. So. Right. When you solve the dynamics of feed, you are also uh, 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 you're breaking even. So profitability is guaranteed for poultry at for broilers at six weeks, while for layers from four months of age till another right. two years. Thank you so much, um, Nabil. I now know that uh, in about um, two months or so, or in less than six months, I can really get some so much money out of poetry if I actually follow the guides that you have uh, mentioned. My guest, Nabil Yakubo, veterinarian, livestock expert. Many thanks for being a part of Business Insights for today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. It is Thank indeed our pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the size of the show for today. I'm sure you might want to consider poultry farming or any other aspect of agriculture because it is a boomer for the country. Many thanks for being a part of the show. My name is Justin Akadonia. See you again next time. <laughs>